Have you ever wondered how open relationships work? We often hear about people who allow their spouses to have another sexual partner, but does it always end well? As time goes on, more and more people want to open up their marriage or their relationship to a third partner. When this married couple decided to open up their relationship and have a young woman move into their house, things didn't really go as planned. And do you know how it ended? With an unfortunate series of gruesome murders. Hello guys and a warm welcome to our YouTube channel. Today, I am here for you with a new murder recap. If you want to know the truth behind the Anne Marie Anastasi love triangle murder case, then this video is absolutely for you. In this video, I am going to give the recap of how Anne Marie Anastasi got revenge from her husband and his young mistress. Before moving ahead, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you remain notified with the upcoming latest videos. Without further delay, let's get straight into the video. A unique arrangement. Anne Marie Anastasi has been married to her husband for 18 years. She belongs to the rural town of Lothian, Maryland, and was arrested for a bizarre love triangle murder, with the victims including her husband and his new 25 year old mistress. But did you know? The murder also has a second suspect. Someone helped Anne Marie Anastasi in conducting these murders, and it was someone you would have never expected. The 42 year old woman was arrested after an Arundel County detectives figured out the tale and connected Anne to the murders. How did they find everything out? Well, Anne made it look simple. She told the police that she came home from grocery shopping one day and found her husband and his mistress murdered in the house. She told the police that it was a suicide and she had nothing to do with it. However, the clues started piling up against her and the police had a sneaking suspicion that Anne was not as innocent as she was pretending to be. What made this relationship unique, you may ask? Anne's husband, Joseph Anastasi Jr., the 25-year-old mistress, Jacqueline Irene Riggs, and Anne herself, were all suspected to be in a three-way relationship. Anne and her husband's romantic relationship and their sex life had been going toward a downfall for quite some time. In order to prevent the imminent divorce, it is alleged that Anne agreed for her husband's 25-year-old mistress to move into their house and start living with them as their third partner. Isn't it weird how Anne thought that this arrangement would solve her marital problems? But instead, the arrangement had much more serious and permanent consequences. The gruesome murder details. When Anne initially called the police, they responded to it as a suicide attempt and immediately arrived at the scene to help the supposed suicide victims. Furthermore, police also did a thorough investigation of Anne, her body language, her clothes, her fingerprints, and so much more. Can you guess what shocking evidence the police found? Yes, the police found gun residue on Anne's body and her clothes. If she had come back from grocery shopping, then how did she get gun residue on her clothes and hands? The police immediately knew that Anne was deeply involved with the murders and most possible was the main suspect in the case. The police immediately sped up their investigation and left no stone unturned in their quest to find what actually happened in the Anastasi house that day. Other murder suspects. When police started investigating Anne's calls and text messages, they instantly found corroborating evidence against two other people who helped Anne plot and execute these heinous murders. Can you guess who it was? Police, media, and the local community all were completely shocked when it was revealed that a 13 year old girl had majorly helped Anne in planning this entire murder massacre. Text messages revealed how Anne had discovered everything with this 13-year-old girl, and the young girl had given Anne tips on how to execute the murders perfectly. The identity of this 13-year-old girl has been kept a secret since the girl is a minor, and not of legal age to be prosecuted in the court. Can you guess who this girl can be? Many people say it could be Anne's own daughter. And since Anne and Joseph had five children together, some people say that the 13-year-old murder plotter could have been a classmate to one of Anne's children. While the girl helped Anne plan the entire thing, the young girl's 18-year-old boyfriend helped Anne execute the murders 
and was involved hands-on in the killing of Joseph and Jacqueline both. Anne and the 18-year-old boy have both been arrested. While Anne was charged with first-degree murder, she was also charged with two counts of second-degree murder, along with one count of use of a firearm in the commission of a felony. The 18-year-old boy was charged with two counts of first-degree murder and two counts of second-degree murder, along with two counts of conspiracy to commit first-degree murder. Furthermore, he was also charged with two counts of conspiracy to commit second-degree murder and an additional two counts of firearm use in a felony crime of violence. Both of these criminals await their trials and sentences, while the 13-year-old girl who helped plan the murder had also been detained at a juvenile center, and she has also been charged with multiple criminal offenses. So guys, what do you think about today's video? I hope you liked the recap. If you want more recaps on different murder cases, then please do mention them in the comment box. This is all for today's video. Guys, do give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to watch the next murder case. Goodbye for today. Peace.